for tuning in to Beacons in the 505. Uh, my name is Roger Gallegos. I am the founder and owner of Beacon Marketing. In this series, I am highlighting local businesses throughout the Albuquerque and central New Mexico area. I'm hoping to uh, eventually get to all of New Mexico, but right now I just want to focus on all the good things that we're doing locally because even during the pandemic, Albuquerque and the businesses here in Albuquerque are doing everything we can to keep going and, and keep the economy going, keep our community going. Uh, we're going to do a, a lot longer after the pandemic. So this year is going to be highlighting what we're doing and how we're doing it. Today, I am talking to Ken Jackson of the uh, KJ Effect. Ken, thank you so much for being with us today. How are you doing? Fantastic. I tell everybody we're on the right side of the dirt. So we're all doing okay. <laughs> I love that. I like that right side of the dirt. Well, you know, okay, we're going to jump right into it. So for people who are not familiar with you or the KJ Effect, why don't you explain what the KJ Effect is and specifically what do you do? So for me, man, um, being from Albuquerque and, and growing up here, um, you know, I began to notice that uh, the mindset of uh, Bootganians, you know, um, I wanted to help with that, that type of mindset, being an entrepreneur here. So my mission is to inspire people to turn their dreams into achievements and to motivate them into action so they may realize their full potential on a personal and professional level. Now, my why is to help people find a better way to achieve their goals. And how I do that is by challenging the current mindset. And then what I contribute is business and life experiences to have a positive impact and to get people the results they want. So my mission and my why work together to help people, um, individuals, and organizations figure out what their goals are, um, point them in the right direction, and figure out an action plan to help them do that. So um, I really work with the mindset of, of people um, a lot is what I really do. So those individuals that may be at the point of where do I go from here, or I'm stuck, or I don't know what to do next, you know, I start with why. And once we start there, that's our foundation. And then we move on from there. I love it. You know, one of the, you know, uh, one of the things I have my uh, guests do on this is fill out a short survey. So I have kind of some background information on what they do. And, you know, for people to uh, be perfectly upfront, you and I have worked together before. I did some work for you a couple years back. So I'm familiar with you a little bit, but still helps you get some more information. And one of the things you put for your ideal clients, anyone who feels stuck. So I, that, that kind of stood out for me. And then you say that again here, what often leads to that feeling stuck or not knowing where to go in your experience? What often leads to people feeling that like that kind of lethargic or stuck feeling? Um, a few different things, but you know, what I've noticed is that we've been taught to work for someone our entire lives. And there's nothing wrong with that, but times are changing. They have been changing. They've been evolving, if you will. And through that evolution, those that still stay in the mindset of I'm searching for the one company that's going to provide everything and, and do everything I want. When they reach their end at that company, then the question is, is what now? right? Where do I go from here? They've, they've honestly been doing something that they've just been taught to do, not something they enjoy. So once they're done there, then they get in this habit of this is all I have. And then the mindset says, this is all I am. And then when they find out, let's say, especially times like this, right? People are getting laid off. They're being pointed in other directions and they, they don't know what else to do because they've been so used to doing that same routine for years and years and years. So that I'm stuck part can come in where um, things like this happen, right? Sometimes they lay you off, believe it or not, right? Sometimes you um, life happens and you have to go in a different direction as far as your career path. So that I'm stuck comes from staying in the same mindset, being locked into the same routine 
and then finding out there might be something more out there. What do I do now? Life happened. Which way, which way do I go now? I'm so used to doing this. Um, it's like someone that spends 30 years at a job and then retires and doesn't know what to do because they've been in that routine. So then, then what? So I, I really enjoy talking to people about opening the mindset of, um, you know, because things are changing and, you know, income evolution is happening where you need to have multiple streams. You need to have um, a side hustle, if you will. And that's where I really like talking to people just to open the mind to see um, what it is that they really want. If we start with why, it really begins to open up that mindset. I think that's a great place to start because you, you kind of understand your why. And it's very similar to marketing. When you figure out, like when you kind of break it down, marketing your business is not too different from building your own career path and marketing yourself. And I always tell people when you, when you start marketing your business, either start with your why or start with what you want to accomplish because then once you understand that, once you start setting goals for yourself, then your path becomes clearer because you want to kind of understand what direction you're heading. So uh, you've been doing, you've been in business for yourself for uh, over 30 years. You've been doing what in this particular industry, uh, coaching and motivation for about 14 years. What made you decide to do what you do? Well, what is your passion? And again, you and I have worked together. And so I've seen videos of you before, I, uh, you know, you know, I've seen videos prior to you, I've seen you speaking, and you have a presence, so I know you're powerful. This is something that, that really speaks to you. So what, where do you find that passion? When I, when I talk to people and they have the feeling that they can't become more, that um, their salary defines them, that their job title is what makes them. Um, I, I really find the drive from working in the corporate world and then really seeing that people really don't know what's out here, what, what the possibilities are, because they've been locked into this, what they call normal routine so long that tunnel vision is pretty much set in. So when you ask someone, hey, what about this? Or have you ever thought about this? It's blinders because they're so locked in. And it drives me to know that being we're from Albuquerque, I'm proud to be from Albuquerque. I'm proud of being from New Mexico. The fact that um, I, I talk to people and they, they honestly feel that they can only climb to one level in life, that um, they can only become what their salary or what their boss is telling them they can become. And, and I just, I'm telling you, um, I serve a higher power and, 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 you know, I'm not majorly religious, but Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And, and, what I encourage people to do is if you can take the lid off of that, if you believe like you say you believe, then there's nothing that isn't possible for you to achieve. If you actually believe in it, you write a plan about it, you set a goal for it, and then you take action. What isn't, what, what is there, what's out there that can't be done? And um, when you look at the youth today, I don't know, to me, we're not telling them all of their options, right? College, I get it. I've got a degree, I understand. Education, yes, it's important. But, but you can have a degree that sits on your wall and you still have to learn how to sell yourself to the next job, right? To, to get the career you want. And if we're not telling them these options, if we're not teaching them about investment opportunities in addition to not just one stream, right? We talk about diversification, but what about diversifying your income? And entrepreneurs, that's what, that's what we see. We see the goal, we see the dream. And then in addition to that, we know that we're gonna have to do something else to make sure that that dream is successful. And we know how to really, if you will, think outside of the whole box term, it's cliche, but um, that's what entrepreneurs do. So I really enjoy at least showing people, you know, I consider that part of my mission is that I, I just want to show it to you, right? I just want to tell you now you can choose what to do from here, but at least you know now. And growing up, not all of us knew. Like you, I'm, you know, we didn't know the possibilities of what's, you know, what you could really do with your life. And I, I just, I really get, I, that's where the drive comes from, my friend, is, is helping people see that's that. That's great. 
Well, you know, and that really speaks to what you just said about not knowing your possibilities and not, you know, and that proverbial glass ceiling that you referenced at the beginning of what you were saying there. That it was in, in large part one of the reasons that I started my business. You know, Beacon Marketing has been in business for almost three and a half years. I started it uh, while my wife was pregnant with our daughter. And one of the reasons is I wanted to show my daughter, I wanted to provide a different opportunity for my daughter because growing up here in Albuquerque, being Hispanic, one of the things you feel is this kind of glass ceiling. It's almost as if they tell you what not to do, like don't get a girl pregnant too young and don't go to jail. But they all, they don't tell you the opposite side of the spectrum. It's like, here's everything that's possible. You know, like you could go to school and you could do this. It's almost like an abstract thing. Like go to college, you can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer. But like they, it's not really this like, hey, the sky's the limit. Let me show you how it's almost like, don't do this. And you'll be able to get a good job and support your family. And that's kind of like, yeah. So growing up, I always felt like almost suffocated. And there was this point in my life where I honestly thought I was going to have to leave Albuquerque, leave New Mexico to kind of see a different world yeah. and i do not i don't want that for my daughter or for any other kids that we may have i want them to feel like hey if, if they want to live here in new mexico they get out of the life that any life that they want or if they want to go live in san francisco chicago or kentucky somewhere they could do that but yeah. the sky is the limit and i think what you're doing is wonderful because you're kind of opening people's eyes and saying hey here's the possibility if you dream it and you set that plan forward you can make it happen and i know you do a lot of work with with kids because you know uh based on you know, when we worked together before i saw some stuff on your website and things that you've done you know how does it feel working with your kids particularly high school kids and helping them you, you know prep themselves for a, a better future what do you like about that well i so that that target between let's say 17 and let's say uh, 35 I can only talk to what I know and the mistakes I've made. So that was the time frame when I started the whole business venture. Um, so when I talk to them, I'm really explaining what I did and then the mistakes I made. You know, so I'm, I'm hoping so they don't do the exact same thing, right? Um, everyone's going to make mistakes. Heck, I still make mistakes. But that target market is when I really started looking at business possibilities, um, you know, at 18 and, and 19, really start thinking about it. Um, and then uh, after getting the job, at Intel, you know, with, with a major corporation and really seeing that, hold on a minute, if the owner of this company could do it, why can't I, right? And, and that began to set in. So it's really about my discussion with the youth about their possibilities moving forward because they're growing more and more. Every person with a cell phone, in, to me, is sitting on a million bucks. They just don't know the possibilities that they can do with it. And I don't, right, I don't know them all, but I, you know, I'm willing to talk to you about it. Let's, let's see what we can do. What can we do with Amazon, with eBay, with right, all these possibilities instead of Candy Crush, right? I don't know, it just the, 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 the opportunities there for people. I, I just, they are. That's great. Well, you know, uh, we're going to, have to wrap up here soon, so I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, what are some of the specific services that you help either people or even groups of people do? So can you let our uh, viewers know a few of the, the services that you provide? Sure. So um, coaching uh, with organizations and individuals. Um, I recently became a certified Y Institute agent. So working with people and groups and organizations, businesses, to identify the why, we start with why, and then we move to the how and the what. And um, my why, as I stated before, is actually incorporating my how and my what. So we start there, and then my, you know, my workshops that I do is incorporating what, what I like to call a success formula. Identifying the why, and then coming in with the how and the what, and then we have to work on association. And then from there, we look at the gifts. I believe everyone has a gift of some sort. And um, large or small, how can we develop that skill set or that gift, at least identify it so you can begin to write a plan so you can improve on that gift. And then after, you know, after that, then we start working on what energizes you. So now you'll have an actual action plan that you can utilize and implement immediately. But ultimately, it all starts with uh, discovering your why, 
And, um, you know, I, I've got a, a link you can go to mywhydiscovery.com. I'm working with the Y Institute, Dr. Uh, Gary and his organization and the group of people that have been mentoring me. We're going out and our goal is to help a billion people really discover their why. And uh, that, that's where we start. I love it. So uh, where can people find out more information about you? I know you hear the website, but what other places I know I can see on the video? Uh, yeah, the kjeffect.com, but what other, what other ways can people get in contact with you? So if, if people want to email me, they can email me at thekjeffect at gmail.com. Um, you can also submit uh, your contact information at my website, thekjeffect.com. And if you really want to, you can actually, again, go in, discover your why. I will get that information at mywhydiscovery.com. And then um, we can talk about your how and your what moving on from there. I love it. Well, Ken, thank you so much for being with us today. I really appreciate you sharing what you do, your insights. I think what you do is valuable. Uh, a lot of people could be helped by it. Uh, before we go, is there anything else that you would like to share with the audience? You know, I, I feel very blessed. Um, a lot of this is, it just comes from fear. You know, um, you can't do everything, but at least find out what you can do. And I, I just believe if we start looking within ourselves, improving ourselves through books, um, understanding our capabilities and how we can develop from there, I, I just believe as a society as a whole, we can grow bigger and faster and understanding each other a lot more. So then we can help each other more. Um, and, and that's really what I, what I, thrive on, I guess. And, you know, uh, from the Bible, Luke 22, 32, um, you know, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And that's what the KJ effect is, is strengthening others. Um, as I try, I fail, I learn, and then I, I love to teach what I've, what I've learned. So um, that, that's, that's what I do, man. And, and I'm proud, excited about the future um, for all of us. And we just got to go out there and keep failing and keep learning and keep teaching. Uh, great message. I love what you have to say. I love what you do. And I think right now it's more vital that we have uh, this type of message and people like you out there who are doing this type of work. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, people, I, I highly recommend calling you Ken. I've worked with him before. He, he's a, a shot of energy. If you need it, he'll get you motivated, <laughs> get you going. I love working with him. Ken, thank you uh, once again. Audience, thank you. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, we'll be back. Talk to you later. Bye.